Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will label fractions and mixed numbers on number lines. Types of numbers on number lines. We have learned about whole numbers, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you could keep going on forever. We have learned about fractions, like 1 3rd, 2 fifths, 3 fourths, 1 sixth, and 2 thirds, and many other fractions. Now, if we put whole numbers and fractions together, we get mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are wholes, so whole numbers, and a fraction together. So let's read this. One and two thirds. Three and one fourth. Let's look here. We have three and a half. So a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction together. Let's take a look at this number line. This number line has the whole numbers 0, 1, and 2. Now we notice that there's equal segments between the whole numbers. So let's count how many equal parts or segments there are between 0 and 1. 1, 2, 3. We notice there's three equal parts or segments between the whole numbers 0 and 1. Therefore, the denominator is going to be 3. At zero, we know we have zero thirds or no thirds. At the first tick mark, we know we have one third. The next tick mark is two thirds. If we travel over one more tick mark, we know we have three thirds. Three thirds makes one whole. Now remember, the spacing or the equal parts between the whole numbers will be the same. So let's count one, two, three. The spacing is the same as it was from 0 to 1. Now we start over. 1, 2, 3. There's still three equal parts. The denominator will still be 3. Now let's think about it. We still have this whole, and we're adding another third to it. So we can say that we have one whole, which was right here, one whole, and we're adding another third. So we actually have one whole and one third. Third. Remember, the numbers on a number line increase. So we can't just have one third. We need to have one whole plus a third. Now let's keep going. Remember, we still have the whole, this whole that we originally had here. We added a third. Let's add another third. So now we have two thirds. So we can say we have one whole, one, and one, two, two thirds. Let's continue. We have a whole, but this time we're adding another third, which would make three thirds. So let's write that one and one, two, three thirds. We know that one plus another whole would make two holes or the number two. Now, the next whole number would be three. We can't see it, but we know it's there. So let's continue adding thirds. Now we have two holes, which are here, and we're adding a third. So the next mixed number is two, one, two, and one third. After that, we could say two and two thirds. This number line has the whole number zero, one, and two. Let's check how many equal parts there are between zero and one. One, two, three, four. We know the denominator will be four. At zero, we have zero fourths or no fourths. At this first tick mark, we have one fourth. Then we go to two fourths. We add another fourth and we get three fourths. Let's add another fourth. We get four fourths, which is one whole. Now we have to go from the whole number one to the next whole number, which is two. Let's check how many equal parts there are between one and two. One, two, three, four. The denominator will be four. Remember, we start over at each whole number. So let's think about it. We still have this whole, one whole. It doesn't just disappear. So we have one whole and we add a fourth. We can say we have one and one fourth. Let's add another fourth. So we still have our whole. Now we have two fourths. So we have one and one, two fourths. Let's continue. We have the same whole from here, and we're adding another fourth, so now it'll be three fourths. Let's write this. One and one, two, three fourths. Let's continue. We have the same whole, and we're adding another fourth, so now we have four fourths. So we have one whole 
plus four fourths. And we know that one plus another whole would give us two wholes. And guess what we have here? We have the number two. Let's continue. Now we're going from two to the next whole number, which is three. The denominators will stay the same because we're still working on the same number line. So we have two wholes, and if we add a fourth, we have two and one fourth. Because we have one, two wholes, and we add another fourth, we have two and one fourth. Let's take a look at this number line. Let's figure out what mixed number goes here. Let's check how many equal segments there are between the whole number zero and one. One, two, three, four, five. The denominators will be five. Here we have no fifths, one fifth, two fifths. Let's add another fifth, we get three fifths. Let's add another fifth, and we have four fifths. When we get to one, we actually have five fifths, which we know is one whole. Let's continue, we must add another fifth because there's still one, two, three, four, five equal parts between the whole numbers one and two. Remember, they must be equal parts between the whole numbers. So now we have one whole, this makes a whole, and we have a fifth. So we write one and one fifth. Let's add another fifth. We have one whole right here, one whole and two fifths. Let's continue, we have one whole and three fifths. Let's add another fifth. Now we have one whole and four fifths. Let's add another fifth. Now we have one whole, two holes. So we have one and five fifths, which is the same thing as two holes. Again, we must start over because we have a whole number. So from two to three, we still have one, two, three, four, five equal parts. So the denominator will continue to be five. Let's add another fifth. We have one whole, two holes, and one fifth. One whole, two holes, and two fifths. If you kept going, you would get to two holes and five fifths, which is the same thing as three holes.